When? We're officially recording. <laughs> oh, cool. Hi. Hi. Which means go. Go. Go? Oh, okay. There. Yep. Uh, All right. Every week I forget the fucking buttons. Every goddamn week. Reminding myself. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. I guess I picked up the, the hidden items last time. Do the EXP share on com. What does he have? Millhouse does not need the suit bell anymore. Because I'm confident he will evolve. He will get the razor claw. All right. Razor Ramon? Uh, that would be a good name, but probably I'd probably call a scyther or something that. Okay. What was it? There was a... Hunter. I do remember, because I always take note of Bulbapedia talking about my favorites, that mm -hmm. a Trico in the anime ran around with a... basically doing the toothpick in the mouth thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. All well, the way up until wrestling is time. in so many forms of media that that's not even surprising anymore. I, I think it was to be more of like it was a hayseed farm type or something. Probably not necessarily a uh, wrestling reference. I mean, it could have been, but I don't know. Well, if the toothpick in the mouth, yes, but if he was throwing it, then yeah. I don't think it was a toothpick. I think it was like a plant or something. So we're fucking up some buddies. As is tradition. Don't expect this to go any other way, because it's just... That... Fucking beefy-ass Millhouse after grinding him all stream last time. Was it the... Oh yeah, I suppose the whole stream was just... Was uh, Ponyta's loss last stream? Yeah, it was right at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this is going to be fine, though. The pony never existed. It helps me cope to say that. Oh, shit, a Glidar. Hmm. Seems to be a pretty common coping method for you. Did you take Glygar? It's Did a trainer. Take Glygar? Fighting a trainer. We haven't access we oh. don't have access to it, I don't think. I was going to say, I was throwing Where is it? That, yeah, that's something I would have looked at. It's coming up, I think. It's, um... Let's see. Wait, where is Gligar? That was past Chansey Goldie and Duskull Unknown Scyther, look at Meryl Porygon. Yeah, I'm not scrolled down that far. Did it get pushed back to another draft class? It might have been missed! It should be... Gligar should be in this next pool or the one after, I think. Yeah. Hmm. That's, uh... Hey, we dinged. That means we should 100% be getting the Crobat after this battle. I wonder if the Gligar was paired up with the Rotom, which disappeared for some reason. Because I always thought I had Rotom in here in the first place, but then it wasn't. Crobat, 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 it's happening. Holy shit! It's happening! Nice. It's Ron happening. Paul, it's happening. Crow bat, crow bat, crow All right, I'll bat. have to figure out where Gligar slots in here and see. I'm going to have to double check this and see if I missed anything else then because one mon being missed like the road on is like, okay, something something was just missed. But two starts to feel like I deleted something. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Can he just be pushed into uh, another round or something? Next round that we haven't done? We'll find a slot for him, yeah. I don't think it's... Okay. I don't think we've encountered him in the wild yet. This is a trainer battle, so... Okay. Because I think it's... I mean, maybe it is in our current pool, actually. It, it might have been in the same... Like, the grass before the area with Gibble. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is I'm going to heal up because he's fucking Gardenia time! Yeah, okay, there it is. Gligar's in Route 206. Yeah, that's soon. There is Unless no... it's like in a... Is it in a segmented area that you can't get to later or something? 
No, it's in the main 206 area. Is there anything else new in there? Machop, Zubat, Judo, none of that's new. It's possible I just missed that one also? And you're, you're positive that it's in Platinum. It's not Diamond Pearl only. Yeah, it's in Plat. Because there are some like that. Yeah, Gligar should have been in the last pool. Um... Hmm. All right, here we go, boys. Got fucking Gardenia. Good luck and God's grass type master. You have a winning aura about you. Well, you know that'd be easier to say if I still had. No, wait, no, that that didn't exist. That's right. We're not Are talking you fighting about that. Yeah, Gardenia herself now. I'm fighting Gardenia right now. Yeah. That's that's how you interpret her voice, huh? Oh well, no, that's just because I'm. I'm not exactly super awake right now. Oh, okay. Look at that bubblegum fucking bat. He looks awesome. Alright, Turtwig. Fingers crossed. One shot. He'd probably be the trickiest one to one shot of all. One shot. Yeah! Alright. Nice. Huh. You should be fine for the other two. Yeah, I'm still freaking out though. Cherim. Cherim shouldn't I, be a big deal, right? No, I think Cherim's kind of kind of junk. But, uh, Rosalia, if it survived, would be a problem. Uh, Cherim did not oh, go down in one hit. Oh, wow. What, there's no way that thing has the power to take out a Crobat, then. Uh, it's super potioned. Uh, Gardenia super potioned. It used safeguard. Not that that's... Whatever, okay. And I should outspeed it. Okay. No biggie. Yeah, there's. That's, you're not gonna not outspeed hardly anything with Crobat, man. Yeah, but I'm still freaking out. Okay. So uh, I think what happened is I probably deleted encounters from the the pool that we just did because that's where Rodom and Gligar both should have been. Okay. And they're both next to each other, like in the walkthrough. So I think at some point I accidentally overwrote a couple of them. So I'm just gonna double check oh. here. Make sure I didn't miss Holy else. shit, dude. It turns out I, I I did all the math beforehand, and I was like, I don't have shit to worry about. And I still almost had a heart attack, but no reason. I just, I beat Gardenia. <sighs> what was the heart attack inducing? Just the fact that I'm fighting a gym leader and my precious bat might die. And it freaked me out a little bit when Cherim didn't go down. I didn't know what he might have up his sleeve nothing if I'm the, the fact that it survived my assumption is that it's a defend it's a tank yeah. I, I have no idea what its stats are I'm pretty sure Crobat walls that entire gem it did so and uh, kill Tom things, got the exp know. share too so uh, he got some good exp off of it TM86 contains foresight and the gym TMs are the same right or no? Are they no, randomized? I'm pretty sure they're random. Uh, they're too. randomized. Okay. It's all TMs except for field moves are randomized. Um, cool. So maybe I got something good. TM86. Oh, okay, guys. My TM86 is Foresight then. Oh, so it actually said the thing. I don't think she. I think she gives grass, not normally. I think she said something about hitting fucking ghost types, though. Hmm. I, I don't know. Let's let's check the walkthrough, actually. It's definitely not Foresight. That's definitely not the normal oh, yeah. TM. No, that'd be a terrible TM from a gym leader. Then she actually does say what she gives you, then. Okay, I don't care anymore. I fucking spent way too long caring about that battle, and now it's over, so... I need to worry about the fucking skunk now. I almost wonder if I should go into the building and try to clear out some of the trainers first. I'm scared a little bit about that Kadabra too. Yeah, you can just go into attack, the building safely. Just attack that thing. The, the yeah, well, the bat, I think. Kadabra, I would be a little worried about maybe outspeeding my bat, but maybe not. Probably no, not, I, not. Al Alakazam, like, maybe, but... Nah, Alakazam isn't even that fast, I'm almost certain. Zam is the only fast. Thing okay. that you Kadabra's fast too, but Crobat's really fast. 
Yeah, no, the only thing I'd be worried about getting outsped is a sh not a, sh a ninjask or a aerodactyl. If you see one of those, then maybe Crobat has to worry. Yeah. Well, ninjask doesn't even start faster. Sometimes. Ninjask just ramps up is the big thing. Oh, yeah, the, that's the ability. I thought it was pretty fast off the start, too, though. It's not slow, but it's not, like, hyper fast. Like, I, right, but I mean, I remember it being, like, the original discussions of its abilities, people saying, like, this is such a waste because it's already fast. It doesn't need to move faster. Put that speed boost on, like, something that needs it. I could be full Some of shit. Let's type. find out. Base oh, speed. I gotta do my... My checkpoint Okay, save. It, it actually is ridiculous. Base speed ninjask is 160. That's actually fucking absurd. You're, you're right, I'm I, wrong. That's okay. I only remember it because of the discussion off the bat of it, like, this is such a wasted ability. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get more coffee. Because I need to get jacked the fuck up now. I mean, if he wants to get jacked, I mean, could use the equivalent of $5. Max. <laughs> I'm actually decently rested for once on a Tuesday. I actually made myself get to sleep. Which I'm surprised worked, because I was pissed off last night. So I just got to get an email from a, one of my colleagues who's like... Talking about how his, one of my slides made him laugh out loud and like... Saying that I probably haven't read this paper. And I took it as being incredibly condescending. Because it sounds incredibly fucking condescending. I think I've seen that quote, and I actually checked my alt account on Facebook. Yeah, I posted on, I vented on Facebook, because I was really pissed off about the tone of that. And then he was like, no, it was funny, because it was, like, shit that my advisor had spent, like, years working on, and, and you encapsulated it in a slide. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> but it's just, like, I mean, I'm not good at social graces, but my fucking god, like, read your email back before you send it, because it sounded incredibly bad. Well, the second line did. I didn't think the this slide made me laugh sounded bad. That's that's fine. I mean, the People slide was just that. scientific data. There's no, like, punchline to it. Which is why it sounds incredibly condescending, because it sounds like you're so wrong that it's funny. Ha ha. Yeah, I think you projected a little bit on that one. Maybe. I... I, I really feel... Not like a lot, just, just a little bit. <laughs> like, I... I found... I don't know. I mean, you've never read something dry, but it still amused you. Like, you've never found, like, a particular passage in, say, a, an owner's manual kind of funny for some goofy reason. I mean, if I do, I don't just, uh, you know, write a letter to the author saying, I found this completely straight-faced <laughs> thing you wrote to be funny without any context uh, about why. That's because absolutely that would offend the something author. I would do. Dude, no, put yourself in their shoes, right? You have a job where you have to write owner's manuals. Somebody says, <laughs> you, you said lubricate the nut, and I laughed about you know, fucking appreciate the, the letter you sent them. Yeah, well, it's a little little more it's, open than the Yeah, there's more context about, there, but, but the second part I see, that second, yeah, that's not a condescending. What yeah. order were they in the letter? That's a big part of it. I mean, that was basically the entire email. It was literally like two sentences. Um. Something funner than swapping your ghost into a fighting type and seeing the NPC just swap the fighting type right out because it means they don't have any fucking moves that can hit it. It surprises me that they actually, like... I mean, I always that kind of walk. considered... Pokemon uh, AI to be kind of dumb. But... It is, but that's one area where it knows to swap. Can't stop me with no fucking Zubat. Like, if you were to encore a fighting type into a fighting move and it has, like, an ice move or something, like Ice Punch, then you can swap a ghost <laughs> in and they won't swap out, even though they're stuck on a fighting move. So the AI is dumb. But it's... It's not completely brick mode. Could it be a brick house? Smooth rock. Do you remember mean? offhand what level the skunk is? Is it 23? Uh, what level is the gym? The gym's like 23 or something, isn't it? Uh, gym's yeah. 20. Gym is 22. We're allowed 23 because we can go one over. Okay, then maybe it is 23. I wanted to say 27, but that might not be right. 
27 oh, is God, what no, that's, that's Cap the moves one. to after Okay, yeah, then that's gym. not it. It should be 23 then, I think. That's where I'm getting 27 okay. from, is probably the level cap. Oh, I actually have the exact page open. It is 23. 21 Zubat, 23 Skunk. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be able to clear everything up until that battle, so... Uh, oh, jeez. The stunky screech to me. Thankfully, I'm a crowbat, so there's nothing he can, uh... I mean, your ears are even more sensitive than normal things. Yeah. I I'm guess... scared of the screech on that fucking scun tank, too. That would be a problem. Uh, we got ourselves an item. Oh, a yellow shard that continues my diarrhea fucking items. I guess we'll just shove Gligar into the next draft pool. Okay. Sure. Works for me. It, like, this actually should have been a nine pick draft pool we just did because one mon was already shoved back into the next pool to even it out and now that's completely invalidated. Yeah. Uh, nose pass, I oh, well. back, so. I mean, the, the only well, other thing we could do. Nose pass yeah, the only other thing we could do is we could, like, redo the last half of the draft or something like that, but I don't know. I've already got my Togepi egg I'm hatching. I don't know if anybody else has encounters yet from the list, like Bronzor, but. No, no but we can just move on with it in the next round yeah. and that's my opinion because either either way like if if we moved Gligar and Nosepass up we'd still have extra mons in the next round that are left over so either way next draft round ends unevenly that's fine I like it yeah actually next draft round it's it's actually this works out pretty okay because unknowns in the next draft round mm-hmm which is basically might as well not even be there. <laughs> oh, it's gonna no, no, no. fucking take a hit and die for somebody. Yeah, it, it's actually That's funny because I had an unknown in my um, the ROM hack Nuzlocke I've been doing that actually did a lot of work for me because it's completely changed and it has like a real move set. Interesting. It just learns like every move with power in the title basically. So hidden power, secret power, like a new move every ten levels or something like that, and the stats are actually pretty decent. So it actually. It wasn't like a full-on carry, but it did a bunch of work in the early game up until the... Between the second and third gym. And I had so many deaths too that like I needed every fucking mon I had access to at that point. Which is the only reason I even tried to use it. But it turned out to be pretty good. How many uses of wing attack do I have left? I'm pretty much just wing attacking this entire building. And it's still alive. Okay. 28 out of 35. That's just fine. Do you guys know there's trainers in the Pokemon Center sometimes in this game? Yeah. They spawn next to the... Oh, we we are very familiar with trainers in the Pokemon Center. <laughs> especially in Soul Silver. Yep. I don't recall where any are in Platinum. They, they just spawn randomly in the Pokemon Centers um, right up at the desk, basically. Oh. Yep. Switch out. That's a Badoo with fucking Mega Drain. Yep. That's the only reason I think I'm keeping Badoo over Lilip is Badoo's skill set's much better. Which is kind of weird. I like Roserade. It's mm -hmm. good. If, I, if, I could, one if I had the stone, I wouldn't even question using uh, Badoo over Lilip. But I don't have the stone yet, which is the big concern. And I like Cradillia Fake a little out. More. Just as a mon, generically. Yeah, the bad rose, bad rose isn't all that. Uh, I don't know. I like it. Fucking up some crow gunks. One thing I actually have super effective on in this uh, building. You fucking leave those poor Krogunks alone. They attacked. They were captured by the bad guys and forced to do their bidding. They're not <laughs> actually bad frogs. Oh, Garrett, I'm uh, I'm in the two Sooth Bell uh, crew with you now. Nice. We can evolve all the friendlies. I'm not it's sure. It's actually I'll pretty good because I. Get one again. 
did I do have Chingling, so it is relevant. Although I don't know if I'll Chime Cho. Chime Cho is only going to be a backup to my Kadabra. I think I. This is the. Come on, Gyarados. Okay. Yes, that's the leader. I'm not going anywhere near that. <laughs> Finally. My Gyarados was sipping for this fucking Clefairy for way too long. Goddamn. So, okay, infatuation. that's straight up some hot. That's pretty much some hot Skideon Waylord action right there. Yeah. Oh god, another Clefairy. Scientist Trayvon and his fucking Kadabra. Please, Gyarados, contain the horniness. Just kill it. Stop Jesse, don't with... you have a flute? Stop playing with your dinner. You know what? Maybe I do. Yeah. I'm so used to not using items in battle. Because I like pain. Okay, that, that was a little scary. Uh, he used an X special on his fucking Kadabra right away. Yep. And then I, I did bite, though, and it, it one-shot it. Yeah, that's why I got fucked, because I did the swap turn one. Because <laughs> I forgot yep. about the X special thing in this game. That oh, they okay. It's the it was yeah, a scientist, you lost right? Something on there, didn't you? Yeah, yeah scientist yeah, Trayvon is his name. Yeah, I think all the scientists in this game maybe use an X item turn one. Either that or that's, that's a black and white thing. I'm not sure. I got a twisted spoon actually, which I'm not mad at. What? Um, I that's... don't have any psychic moves on anybody though. You will get one eventually. I'm gonna get fucking Bronzor, so you'll you'll get something. Yeah, Bronzor needs all the help we can get in attacking. That's for fucking sure. Yep. Okay, we're getting the fuck out of here, and it's back to Grainsville. I hope you guys enjoyed last episode Joe <laughs> stuff, because that's all that's going to happen for here for a while. Joe stars? Joe you, stars. You got a plan uh, for the skin tank? Um, I'm going to put Com up front, and... And uh, I'm probably going to give him the... I had an item I was looking at for him. Oh, no, I should probably give him the soft sand. Uh, yes. But I was, th I was thinking... Uh, because of the stupid fucking... What's it called? Uh, Night Slash may be critting me. Like, right off the bat. I have a... Not white herb. I have an item that lets me... Focus like, band? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Focus band. But the soft sand is pretty much... That's gotta be it. It's possible if I, I get him up to like 23 or 24 and I give him the soft sand, he might be able to one-shot the skunk. I mean, you don't. there's Certainly no possible. level cap for that skunk. You can out-level come... I can get him to 27, yeah. But... I don't know if I'd go that far. Only because then you run the risk of it over-leveling when you're on your way to the gym. Yeah. I mean, you, And we do have... Uh, Cycling road coming up. You could push it to 27, fight the skunk, and then stick it in the box until the end. That is technically yeah, but doable. I, like, <laughs> like Garrett was saying, I'm sure I'm going to want it around. Yeah. Alright, we need to get Millhouse put away for a little while. What level does that what? thing evolve? Put away? What level does what evolve? The Shellos? Yeah. Uh, 30, oh, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not going to put Millhouse in the box or anything, but he's, uh, Com has to go up front. Oh, gotcha. Train him up. Yeah, because I grounded 25 before the skunk on Graveler, and that was still sketchy. Oh, shit, you both have beat the gym, haven't you? Yes. I can start using boosts. Oh, oh yes. yeah, you can. That is true. All right. Com has the soft sand. And... Probably just gonna use water stuff. Yeah, it'd be nice fluffy. if he, he could get his stab, but. Fluffy tail, is this some sort of furry butt plug? Well, uh, Pokemon we is aware of that segment. We, we were just talking about this last time. Yep. Segment of its fandom. An item that attracts Pokemon. Hmm. Item that attracts neckbeards. <laughs> <laughs> That's just wrong. Yeah, isn't the the icon like a tail on a stick or something? Like it's you like would play with a cat. String, with? Yeah. At least that one's not too bad because that still looks kind of like 
something Mark would play with Tibber and Beyonce with. Oh yeah, that's uh, uh, Sam has one of those for Kiki. Oh, yo, Kiki. That was one of the only times Kiki wanted to be my friend. Well, she still does. She'll play with me, but if I'm not playing with her and I accidentally look at her, she'll hiss at me. Wow. She's a weird cat. I think she was abused when she was a kitten. Oh. Not by them, like before they got her. I mean, they got her as a kitten. No, you... they're, they're, I'm saying before uh, they got her. They I would mean, never abuse a cat. Well, I don't think Brandon and Sam would, but. Well, it's not necessarily abuse so much as due to toddler and pets. Like, you can't can't always nah. assure anything. Those kids are too nice to. Well, they don't. I mean, might, they're not trying to like abuse it, like yeah. hurt it or anything. It's just they're playing too. You know, petting it wrong can be enough to set a pet back. I, I, okay, I re- real talk. I killed two kittens when I was a little kid because I didn't know what I was doing. One I put in a cooler to get to come back from lunch and it would still be there right because i didn't want to run away uh-huh. and i didn't understand suffocation was a thing because i was like three and then i oh moved. that's that's gotta be dramatic yeah i don't I'm... remember that at all but my mother told me about it and i was not happy with the results of my decisions apparently <laughs> right <laughs> the, the other one was similarly... completely accidental with a door a door shut on a kitten's neck that was chasing me because mm-hmm. it was on a yeah spring. and i I accidentally killed, like, some turtles when I was a little kid because, oh, they're turtles. They're fine. They're not going to, you know, have issue being in the sun all day if they can't hide from the sun for an entire fucking day. And, yeah, they cooked because, you know, if they can't regulate their body temperature and their body temperature goes over 100, it doesn't do very good for them. I just feel bad for you guys, like, saying that because that would be... Well, that's, I mean, that's I'm sure you're over saying, it now, like, like, I'm not entirely. I don't like. I I don't. Know, I can't vote for Jesse, but I'm I not mean, entirely over it. I grew up on a farm, so there was a lot of animals and a lot of opportunities for uh, unintentional trauma. So, <laughs> two, I, two is, is maybe like not bad the... for a track record in that situation. <laughs> right, fucking we're, barn cats. We, yeah, we had barn cats go through combines and shit, like. Yeah. yeah, jeez. It's that that is definitely a farm thing. And so similarly, just because the kids, you know, weren't try I'm not not painting them in a light of like they're trying to abuse the cats. It's just they didn't they don't know. Yeah, that's what uh, I'm saying. Actually, kids yeah. fuck up. Actually, Jesse, I have a story that goes even closer to your thing. And for a second I thought your cooler story was going to be a Schrodinger thing. And you didn't realize what was going on. No, um... Well, the cat was definitely dead was... before the cooler was opened. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you know if that you, now. If you, you had opened never cooler. opened the cooler. True. That cat is both dead and alive. Listen, yep. police, if we never dig up my basement floor... <laughs> yeah. those, those hookers but, are both uh, dead and alive. I, I do oh, remember okay. a story of when I was a toddler... I did the same thing to our kitten where I'm like, I hear cats always land on their feet. I'd like to test this. And it died? And no, 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 no. I just was dropping it like from a couple oh, stairs okay. up. And I re- then I realized as I got older, like, I was dropping my cat off the fucking stairs. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. That's, that's not right. But I was a kid, and I'm like, oh, hey, but cats always land on their feet. Yeah, to be fair, they shouldn't tell kids that either, because, I mean, that's the natural progression of that. Yeah. It was different when I was like, hey, um, turtles hide in your sh- hide in their shell if you tap on it. And now I know that's even that was cruel. Like, they feel that. They feel everything. Like, I was they just have tapping hair it with my... and the, like, in their shells or something. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, like, I was just tapping it with my finger to see if they go in their shell. Of course they did, because I was annoying the shit out of them. No joke, I watched turtles get their back scratched for, like, 20 minutes on YouTube a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody kind of got into that. I, I saw that, too. Uh, yeah, and that that's where I picked up uh, that they have a lot of nerve endings in their shell or whatever, apparently. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, oh, I, you know, re- I'll read in a book that, oh, frogs swallow with their eyes by pushing food down through their mouth by putting their eyes into their face. So I fed them worms, because I wanted to see that shit. 
Like, all my little testing of hypothesis when I was a kid, innocent for the most part, like feeding right. frogs and or... You, you, I would, more than a number of my other friends, I would describe as an animal lover, like, on par with myself, but, I mean... You know, but I, but kids I did some kids, dumb, right? Yeah, I did some dumb things as a kid because I, it didn't occur to me that like this probably isn't, this is probably stressful for the animal. Mm -hmm. Like telling your friend to jump off a flight of stairs because you want to see if they land it. Me and Tony did that shit all the time because we were dumbasses. Right. But, but we never broke an arm or anything, so we didn't. We thought it was fine. We weren't pushing each other out of trees and shit. Oh, there's a cut tree here. Although, well, oh, you know what? Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead. I was going to say, I did have some issues figuring out what levels were appropriate for pranks when I was a kid, though. Um, I had a trick I like to do while ice fishing, where I'd cover a hole up that had been drilled and wasn't being fished in. Oh, jeez. And, like, dust snow over it with my shoe, and I'd even put, like, a shoe print on the spot and then call a friend over to come talk to me so they'd put a boot down the hole. Yeah, you could break somebody's leg that way. Exactly, like... Oh, I actually got in a lot of trouble for it one time because the guy's... the kid's dad was with and he didn't think it was funny that his kid had to go sit in the truck for the rest of the uh, fishing trip. <laughs> I, I would have been pretty mad too. Or maybe not the rest of the fishing trip, but until his leg dried off, but... Until his leg fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's old, old chateau that opened up that I just cut. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's anything in there for me though. Just uh, ghastly and rotom. There's like five hidden. Oh, there's items. items. Yeah, there's. Yeah, shit. Or actually, I think there's like two hidden and like three visible, something like that. There's one hidden in the kitchen in a box. I remember that. Ghastlies much. might actually be good to grind on, unless they start cursing me and shit. Oh yeah. At least they kill themselves with the curse a lot of times. Yeah, as we as we found out, unfortunately. Yeah. But well, Sad I mean, truth. cum isn't gonna outspeed them either, fortunately. So Jesse, is the episode of the first, uh, or the title of the first episode of the stream going to be uh, aspiring sociopaths? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Well, you guys expressed regret for it, and yeah. it's mostly like childhood stories, so... Yeah. I don't, uh... No, I'm just, I'm referencing the fact that that's supposedly one of the earliest indicators, is like, you torture animals. Yes, but I mean, it's more of like a curiosity thing for kids that are fucked up like that. Like Jesse said, he wasn't happy when he found out what he had done. A sociopath kid would be, or a psychopath, I guess, would be more like, well, just making excuses like, I just wanted to see what was inside the cat. Yeah. You know? Hmm. Not seeing, like, any problem with their behavior. It is hard to name these, though, sometimes. Sometimes it just is easy, and other times it's just like, uh, I guess this one's draft rounds four and five, fuck it. It's just a matter of finding what you think is a good quote from it, but that requires, like, re-watching all of it. That can be a little tedious. Yeah. Oh, I got a dread bleed. The peak conversation moment, or a good quote, or something, yeah. That's where it's good to have, like, uh... I mean, my buddies who will stream for hours and hours and hours to find one little bit of decent content will actually do uh, markers in the stream. Like, there's some system that allows doing that. I have no idea what the fuck it is. I don't remember. But when something cool happens, they set a marker and then they can go back because they have eight hours of footage. And they need to find when, when did somebody hit this cool shot or throw that nice grenade kind of shit. Not on that level. Could be on that level. Oh, dear God. What? TJ Lang almost died. <laughs> uh, I went up against a beauty fly with my dust stocks thinking, yeah, this will be fine. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Death Stocks also had gusts, so we gusted each other, except for guess who crit and which one didn't. That sounds a whole lot like, oh, a Pachirisu with Bide, whatever. <laughs> a, a little bit. It was more so like I, it was a level 15 versus my 18, and just motherfucker got a crit, so he hit a lot harder. Well, I got a Thunderstone, not that I'll be able to use it. I need that, oh, and damn to... it. <laughs> right, what do you do? I'm fighting Black Belt Kyle. This guy's gonna punch the shit out of some drywall. Oh, Actually. and the other reason it was scary is because I was in fast forward mode, so that health went down really fucking fast. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Seismic Toss works on ghosts? Or did he fucking detect me? The Seismic Toss work on ghosts? What the fuck? It, I bet you it does in this gen for some stupid reason. I mean, it's a fixed damage move, so maybe that's how they justify it. No, he must have detected me. Seismic mm. Toss from two forward should not work on ghosts. Okay. I just missed it because I just assumed he wouldn't have shit oh, for my ghost. Oh, uh, he could also have no guard. No guard makes all moves hit regardless. It was a Machop. Oh, Machop wouldn't have no guard then? Um, I don't know. It, Machamp gets it. Yeah, that's Mach why I thought yeah, maybe Machop, Machop can have no guard. That's actually probably what it was, was no guard then maybe. Yep. No guard or guts. That's actually a pretty good ability spread. Well, I guess oh, no, guard, no guard goes both ways. It does have a drawback. But... <laughs> no guard is cool, though. I think you can game that to your advantage more than not. Yeah, definitely. The ghastly... Check oh, good. He knocked himself out. They'd just be cursing themselves. Oh, they get a lot of XP. They mean look. Hopefully they don't... Well, he didn't uh, curse himself. He fucking... Uh, I confused him with the water pulse, and he damaged himself in his confusion. I think I'm just uh, going to cancel one turn. Wave Incense does the water buff. Let's swap that out and give that to him, because then he should one-shot them. Curse or not. I just picked up a hardstone, but I have a wide lens on my graveler, and I can't decide if 10% accuracy or 20% damage is better at my rock moves. I mean, statistically, I don't know. The statistics don't even really apply because that turns one of my rock moves into an auto hit as opposed to a 90% chance, which is quite relevant for a Nuzlocke. Hmm. Oh, well, the curse didn't even matter, because the battle ended when he KO'd him, so... Yep, that's yep. the nice thing about it, is you don't take the tick if it dies from curse. Or if it dies that turn, I think. Yeah. I'm getting the weirdest item randomizations here. Like, I got the dread plate uh, outside, and it's normally inside on the second floor. I got the old gateau on... Uh, in the dining hall, and that's normally in the room to the west of the entrance. And I got a fucking great ball. Woo! I mean, that's a useful item. I, I guess, know. but I mean, yeah, I want the Rick, like condescending Ric Flair. TM for Ice Beam or something. Yeah. That's a big ask. Like, how many TMs total are there? Like, a hundred? Uh, something like that. I don't think so in this game. And they can be any TM or any move, which is it? Any move. Yeah, and okay, there's way more than a hundred moves, so... Right, right, but they don't all have TMs. It's, it's, the T, there's a number of TMs that there's normally in the game, but each, the move each TM corresponds to is randomized. I'm but gonna the, grind in here for a while, The TMs, actually. I think, are still in the same spots. Yes, uh, yeah. and I think there's a TM in here, yes, there is. Although maybe not, because I did pick up that random dig TM. Maybe there's not always a TM there. Maybe that was a random item. Night no, or fucking nope. cocks. But usually you get yeah. gifted TMs. You don't usually pick them up off the ground for the most part. I mean, there are some on the ground. But... Yeah, I was just say I remember finding some on the ground. Definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but I mean, you get more from different ways than you do from the ground. Like, because you get one from every gym. You buy some at shops. 
I eat stuff off the ground all the time, Jesse. Come on. Get with the program. That's where food Those comes from. Problem. Yeah. So, I was looking at the randomizer settings and some of the other features of the randomizer. We can actually do this whole draft scheme with a randomized run because you can actually export a log of the randomization that actually has the encounters route by route. It's a thought. I could even build a Python tool, I think, to go with it so that it would parse the results for me without me looking at them. Mm -hmm. And we could keep all the encounters past the next gym secret. Show sure could. Ding. And we can also do our own something different with starters because all you have to do then is after you randomize the ROM, you just load it back up and change the starter without changing the randomization. So we could all play the same randomized ROM with different starters as well. Hmm. Could we also use that uh, system similar to that to do more than three person draft runs? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Because we could we could have effectively infinite starters. Not because there's not infinite Pokemon, but you know. Dear God, that would make some of the. Does the randomizer change the amount of encounters on an area? No. Oh well. Okay, so. If if there's only six Pokemon that can appear in an area, then there's still only going to be six that were put in the random. Actually, maybe. I don't know if it can. Um, I've never deliberately done that, but there might be a setting in there for it, because there are a few different settings for how the randomization's done. Um, I think it just replaces them one by one. I know there's two different options, one where you can replace it one-to-one -one throughout the entire game, or you can replace it one-to-one -one area by area. I know those are options. I got swift. Not bad. Eh. It's alright. I mean, yeah. an auto hit. Yeah. Could be alright. It's a, it's a move that you don't feel bad using right away. Using the TM4, yeah. which is always decent. It's like Shadow Punch for my ghost. Get him a nice move. Don't worry about the fact that I use the TM on something that could die at any moment. Oh look, a ghastly. Oh look, a Nocto. Ah, oh, fuck, you poison me, you son of a bitch. Why would you do this? Wait, you're fat. What? How the fuck is a Roselia faster than my my drift moon? What the fuck? I mean, balloons aren't that fast, man. They just kind of waft. Have you ever let go of a balloon? Uh, no. It's a dick move. <laughs> what is up with Bulbapedia today? I see people do that at a funeral. Just let go like the fucking hundred balloons. I'm like, those are gonna come down somewhere, you fuckers. Those are gonna end up at some funny fucking field. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's a big deal with it in the 80s. Like a big balloon festival they had or whatever. I think in like Cleveland or someplace like that. Yeah, caused a... one of the Great Lakes. I think it was called Balloon Fest or something, but yeah, it caused all sorts of problems because they let like a million balloons go. Black Sludge, uh, not bad. Give it, give it to the crow. Well, no, Crobat dies too easy, so. Although he's poisoned, so if you're gonna give it to anybody, it's gotta go to him. Yeah. I, I have it on my Dustox of all things. Although Dustox has been. Decently tough for me. Certainly could be weaker. And happy with them. Quit with the fuck. It's a solid mid early game mod. Good utility. Yeah. Fuck your bide. Um. Oh. Okay. I think they're saying... Got him. Oh no, I'm going to the wrong spot.
Mean look. I don't give a fuck. You sure you don't want to run? Although, mean look into uh, curse would be kind of brutal. If they yeah. had... Because curse is, what, a quarter health for you? I think so. Yeah. The fuck, why did I fight this guy? What the Son fuck? Of a bitch. He didn't look like a trainer because he's a fucking artist. You trying to say something about people who like to draw and paint and stuff? Ah, uh, yes, they don't usually engage in Pokemon battles in, in their, their real existence. I am fucking offended, and so is Heiki. When was the last time you fought with real Pokemon? Right you, fucking now! In your, no, it's a video game. That's real enough. It's still real to me, <laughs> damn it. Oh, well, don't meditate. Meditate, Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime <laughs> Jr. Uh, what time did you need to take a break, Joe? Uh, 8.50. Okay. I'm gonna... I think I'll make a break in the recording now. And then another one then. So we'll do two, okay. sh two shorter ones rather than, like, one super long one. Because these are sure. 45 minutes a piece then. Um, so I'm making a break. Back in a, back in next episode, I guess.